all right what is going on guys welcome back to another video now today i'm going to be talking about the arcane university map and eso this was a part of the horns of reach dlc and now we knew that this was coming and i'm kind of stupid i'm not gonna lie i didn't watch any trailers or do any extensive research on the dlc before it came out so i heard arcane university i was like okay it sounds like a cool map or whatever i really didn't process that this was the arcane university from the imperial city and oblivion i don't know if this is just me i'm probably just an idiot i'm sure you guys all knew immediately as soon as you heard this but in oblivion the arcane university is part of the biggest nicest city in the entire game the imperial city so this plays a big part in the story in oblivion and i forgot about the arcane university because I used to play Oblivion, but years and years ago, so I forgot all about everything in the game, and then I went back and played it, and I was like, oh my god, Arcane University, this is going to be an ESO, and then when it came out, I played it, and it's amazing. Okay, so here is a picture for the game. You guys are seeing gameplay right now, and I'm going to talk my opinion on the map, and then the nostalgia it brings back. I'm sure they were trying to hit home with the nostalgia of this map. So, first things first, the map looks very, very good. It looks amazing it's just the technology they have compared to back then it just looks so beautiful the white snow and just all the aesthetics go so well together but the theme of the map is that Cyrodiil and the Imperial City have been under attack the whole time and the Arcane University is destroyed it's just falling apart and I'm not exactly sure what but there's this big old portal right in front of the arcane university tower I've, i look at it multiple times throughout the gameplay because i'm just like what is that it looks so cool and the whole city is destroyed i remember walking around and being like wow those are the imperial doors that is so cool these are the doors that were on every entrance in cyrodiil it, it's so cool it just brings back such good memories and it just looks it looks very good you know of course it looks better but it's almost like getting insight like if we had remade Oblivion, what it would look like to this day. Now, ESO doesn't have the best graphics, so just the fact that it looks this good shows how much effort they put into this map. Now, the way it plays is it's like a circular area, kind of like a lot of the areas in the Imperial City. It's just like one big circle, and then you have a center, like a church, which is what in this case is a church. So you can fight all around the circles where it would normally be in the Imperial City. And then there's a church where all of the cool stuff takes place, like Chaos Ball at the top of the church. And then they have flags scattered throughout, or just depending on what game mode you're playing. And it's a pretty small map, so it's really fun, keeps it really tight. And just like I said, the aesthetics are fantastic. The buildings are falling apart, and just, it, it's great. I love it. I really do enjoy this map, and it's so beautiful just the colors look so good it's just so stormy and there's dragons flying around just because it's like the end of Cyrodiil it's just falling apart and it just looks so good I'll be showing images up on the screen of the Cyrodiil from Oblivion and the Cyrodiil from ESO you'll be seeing you know some comparisons get to see how how good it really looks because it looks fantastic I absolutely love what they did they put so much effort into it so you look at some of the things in ESO and you're like, oh, wow, that looks kind of bad. That looks kind of choppy. You know, that's kind of lazy. But in this situation, it looks fantastic. So I'm going to leave you guys with some gameplay. This was just my opinion on it. And I really like the Arcane University map. It's just very nostalgic. I think that's what they were trying to do, trying to hit home on the nostalgia. Just makes me want to go play some Oblivion. But I'll leave you the rest of the gameplay. So I hope you guys enjoy. I'll play signing off.